Hey everybody, Vinny with Thick Skinned RC, and I'm here today with a, another unboxing video for you. Um, this time I've got the brand new Traxxas Unlimited Desert Racer. Um, I've got the Fox Edition. They also have a, a red and black uh, Rigid Edition. That looks pretty cool. Uh, I went with the uh, orange uh, Fox version. Um, so without further ado, let's uh, cut this open and take a look. Fifty fifty shot on picking the right side here. All right, look at that. Got the front end. All right, let's pull this guy out. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's take a look at this thing here. Um, usual standard fare for Traxxas. You got the uh, TQI um, transmitter. It is got the uh, it's Bluetooth enabled. It does not have the link in there, but um, you, you got to buy that separately, um, or you just you can buy one actually and switch them back and forth between receiver or transmitters if you want. Um, typical bag of Traxxas tools uh, you know foam for the batteries you've got this um, this little thing here that's for if you're using one 4s battery um, you'll plug that into one I'll show you that on the truck um, but yeah typical owner's manual stuff a uh, few tools there Tra like Traxxas always gives you um, but let's take a look at the truck here this is uh, this is what we're all here for anyway Battery tray fell off. All right, so I'll worry about that in a minute. But let's take a look around this thing. Um, this is a brand new truck for Traxxas, just came out. Uh, actually on their website it still says arriving, now it says late May, it was early April, then mid-April. Um, I pre-ordered through A-Main and I uh, got mine late last week. Um, so very excited to get it finally a buddy of mine already got his so um, been watched him run his so I was really really excited to get it so let's take a look and see some uh, new features here um, obviously they went really scale with this um, did a great job um, with some of the little features on the truck and got some oil cans uh, batteries now these two here are actual working spare tires that's pretty cool uh, and this is an actual functioning drive shaft so uh, you got a spare drive shaft on board two spare tires um, that's kind of cool um, they could have just stuck some plastic thing in there but uh, they it's a real metal drive shaft that they stuck in there and uh, two real real spares um, so a couple of other things um, new to the truck um, here in the back four link solid rear axle live rear axle four link uh, you got the limiter straps um, uh, anti-sway bar um, but this thing has an incredible amount of uh, travel I don't know if you can see that um, but just holding it up it's got some great uh, great suspension travel um, they did develop new uh, extreme long travel GTR shocks for this, um, so that's that's a new feature with this truck. Um, they've got um, the um, the uh, the body on this is fixed to the to the uh, tube frame, um, so it's not you know no body pins. Uh, the battery compartment is underneath. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but yeah, so the, the body is fixed on here. It's a bit thicker plastic than their typical. Um, supposed to be a little bit heavier duty. Um, it's got a cool interior in there. Driver and passenger. You can see the tube, uh, tube frame. Um, that's kind of cool. 
And so let's take a look at the battery because that's actually uh, kind of an interesting topic of discussion. Um, Traxxas really, on this one, you know, because they fixed the body permanently, no body pins to worry about, you end up with a very uh, limited uh, battery compartment here. Um, whether you think that's good or bad, I don't know. Obviously, this is tailored to fit Traxxas batteries. Um, I'm not a big fan of Traxxas batteries. That's just my opinion. Um, so I tip, typically try to stay away from them. So I'm going to actually try and test a couple of my batteries to see if they fit in here. But you're supposed to be able to fit uh, one 4S battery or two 3S batteries in here. You can see they've got the battery ports are built into the chassis here. That's what this little dealie is for. You plug that into one of them um, when you're running just one battery. If you're running two batteries, one, one battery into each plug there. Um, so again, these are Traxxas plugs. Um, so in my case, I'm not gonna run Traxxas batteries. I run XT90 connectors. So I have a couple of adapters that are gonna plug in there. Um, but actually I wanna test and see the, my uh, local hobby shop told me that um, this thing would fit my X-Max batteries. So we're going to see if that's true or not. Pull them. So this is an X-Max battery, 4S, 6700 ma. Um, use, I've got uh, two sets of these that I use in the X-Max. So let's see if it's going to fit. And no. It's not close. So, that kind of stinks. I'm not going to be able to use these batteries in here. I was hoping to be able to use them in both vehicles. Um, but that is not the case. Um, now, Traxxas must make some 6700 Ma 4S batteries that will fit in here because I noticed on the box 6700 Ma 4S battery. So they must have made something that maybe is a little taller and not as long. Um, but it is not the same battery that comes with the X-Max completer pack that, you know, they, they sell that package that has two batteries and the charger. That battery will not fit in this truck. Okay, so let's do some um, kind of rough measurements of the battery tray in case you want to run some other batteries. This way you have that information. Um, Let's see here. And set that down in a way that you'll be able to see it. So we're looking at just shy of two inches. It's hard to tell. Fit it in there. Uh, maybe an inch and um, not quite an inch and seven eighths. So a little shy of that. Um, and then the depth of it is. About six and a quarter inches. So you have a little less than an inch and a seven eighths by um, six and a quarter. So let's see if some of my, I, I tend to run these Power Hobby batteries. I get them on eBay. Uh, they work really well. Let's see if a three, two three S's will fit. There's one, two, and we will see if one six S will fit. Okay, so let's see. These are the uh, 3S batteries here. I buy these on eBay. Um, very cost-effective batteries. They work great. I've had uh, no problems with them. Let's see if I can fit two of these. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. So I will be able to fit two of those in there. I might have to come up with... Um, put some kind of foam in there because once I strap this in you can see there's still a little bit of play in the battery so I'll probably want to use some of this you know I, I always save these little foam things you get in battery packs and stuff I always save them they work great for that kind of thing um, it'll help secure the batteries they won't uh, bounce around too much while I'm bashing um, now I believe if these two 3s are going to fit then the 1.6S is going to fit because the 6S is quite literally, it's two of those batteries in one. So um, I use this in my Outcast so I don't have to mess with the silly battery, tandem battery connector thing. I hate those. So um, yes, the 6S will fit. Same situation as those two. I will need to mess with some foam, um, but they will fit. Um, now, as you saw when I opened it up, the 
battery tray had fallen off, but so the battery tray, this is how this works. Slides on here. Slides in, supposedly. There you go. And then it's got this little lock here that locks it shut. And then that's it, you know. It's uh, it's pretty much in there. Now uh, my buddy, his battery tray or his battery door has fallen off while we were uh, running on, the, on his track. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll see long term if that becomes an issue or not. Uh, I'm not really sure yet. Um, but I, it did happen to him a couple of times. So um, make sure I'm picking out. Okay, so the um, ESC in here is the VXL 6S. Um, now it does have the telemetry built in. So if you get the Bluetooth module for your transmitter, uh, you will get real time telemetry from the ESC uh, to a, a smartphone that is connected to your Bluetooth. Um, kind of cool feature. Um, I've never used it real time. I've used it to program things. Um, never real time for telemetry. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but um, you know, kind of fun to play with uh, regardless. One thing that this truck does have, and I don't know if there's a way to see it, but I don't, I can't. This, this truck, this giant truck has the exact same servo as the TRX4 um, crawler. I'm not so sure about that. Um, that 2075X servo that they use in this and in the crawler, I I don't even run that in the crawler, in the TRX4. It's just, it's not suitable for it. So I'm not sure how well it's gonna work on this, um, this larger truck. Um, this truck is heavier than a TRX4. Um, the tires are bigger, so we'll see. I have a feeling, as with all Typically, all RTR servos, I'm going to probably swap that out pretty quickly with something a little better. Um, so, yeah, that's um, that's about it. Um, can't wait to take it for a run. Uh, hopefully, I'll get some footage up for you guys pretty quickly. Um, take it out to my buddy's track, and you'll hopefully get some footage of the two of us running them together. Um, but yeah, overall, good looking truck. I'm really excited to run it. Um, been waiting a long time. I actually ordered this thing in February. Um, so I have been waiting a, quite a while for it. But glad it's finally here. The wait is over. Now I just gotta put some batteries in it and give it a test run. So as always, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate the support. Um, Look forward to comments, feedback in the uh, comments there. Uh, hit the like button if you like what you see. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Those who have, really appreciate the support, like I said. Um, but thanks for watching. Check us out on Instagram, thick skin, at ThickSkinnedRC. And there's also a Facebook group there as well. So thanks for watching.